Good morning guys, my name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. Today we're going to be reading chapter 17 of Genesis in our Bible here. And it happens to be about Abraham and the covenant of circumcision. So if you guys are a younger audience, this may not be for you. However, you know what, it's still in the Bible so it's good to know. It is good to be aware of and you know what? The, these are these are God's word. This is getting our noses in the word, getting our everything in the word, because the word of God is true, and you guys can get the same exact Bible down in the description below. So check that out. However, before we dive into that, I'm gonna read my devotions for today, the day by day devotions for dads. You can also get this book in the description below. Um, Real quick, I ask you guys to go over to the Arctic Vet Family YouTube channel and subscribe there. We're trying to reach a thousand subscribers. You know, it'd be great to even surpass our main YouTube channel. I think that'd be amazing. That'd be awesome. Uh, I've been trying to upload every Tuesday and Thursday. However, today being Tuesday, I kind of missed the ball. So that's all right. Um, and this video is actually going live Wednesday, so I kind of like totally missed the ball. <laughs> That's okay, it happens. Anyhow, let's roll that intro and dive in to some good word from God. <laughs> Let's start off, like I said, with our devotional book. This is Day by Day Devotions for Dads by Jay Padalitiner. I have a link to my dis in the description below to the same exact book. You guys can find that there. Kids these days. If it feels good, do it. Slogan of the 1960s. <laughs> Reflecting on it now, there's a happy-go-lucky vibe to that half-century-old concept. It's almost quaint in its innocence. Today's young adults have developed a, developed a similar mantra, but it's delivered in a darker, in-your-face tone. It goes something like this. Who's to say what's right or wrong? Don't you dare impose your values on me. Twenty-somethings in our world have been taught to believe that church, prayer, God, and absolute truth are okay for some people, but most of them don't see the point. Today's teenagers have taken a step even deeper into the abyss. 21st century culture says religion is for fools. Worse, that notation is delivered in a diverse or er, diverse. Hmm. Diversive? Diverse. If, I guess diversive? Not too sure. Yeah, it's gotta be. Diversive, mocking tone with no hesitation or fear. Our young kids may grow up in a world that pays no heed to religion. It's a non issue. They may even waste any breath may not even waste any breath on the debate. Don't panic quite yet. All is not lost. But clearly we can't just pretend that our children are going to see the, cru see the crucial nature of a life with God without reaching some kind of turning point. It might be when they hit bottom. Forced to cry out for a savior. Of course, no parent wants to wish that on their children. The preferred option is that they see how having God, God's laws, God's people, and God's plan in their life makes life better. If that sounds too obvious, maybe that's because it is. Once you receive Christ in your life, there's a refreshing clarity that allows you to look at where you were and where you are. In other words, knowing Christ feels good. And you know that when they say, if it feels good, do it. 
What do you? What about you? Sometimes we make religion too hard. Perhaps we should present God's grace as easy. And here's the thing: like, I, there's a billion who who knows how many religions are out there, but there's only one way, one truth, and He is the one, Jesus. He's the one way, the one truth, Jesus. So real quick, before we dive into the Bible, we've been doing this thing at church, and it's absolutely amazing. I want you guys to join me real quick with it. And all it is, is we're just going to repeat after me out loud. It's amazing. God, you are welcome here. Jesus, you are welcome here. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. And now you place your hand over your heart, and you say those same three things again. God, you are welcome here. Jesus, you are welcome here. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Man, it's just, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's like, it's like, it's like putting on the armor of God. Like, I just don't know how to explain it. I don't know how to explain it. If you guys did that with me, thank you. Thank you very much. And now let's dive into chapter 17 of Genesis. And like I said, this is about circumcision. Doesn't really go into too much detail. However, um... I just want you to be aware of that. So here we go. Abraham and the covenant of circumcision. Genesis 17. When Abraham, when Abram was 19 years old, the Lord appeared to Abram and said to him, I am God Almighty. Walk before me and be blameless, that I may make my covenant between me and you, and you may multiply and may multiply you greatly. Then Abram fell on his face, and God said to him, Behold, my covenant is with you, and you shall be the father of a multitude of nations. No longer shall your name be called Abram, but your name shall be Abraham. For I have made you the father of a multitude of nations. I will make you exceedingly fruitful, and I will make you into nations, and kings shall come from you. And I will establish my covenant between me and you and your offspring after you throughout their generations for an everlasting covenant. To be God to you and to your offspring after you. And I will give to you and to your, and to your offspring after you the land of of your sojournings, all the land of Canaan for an everlasting possession, and I will be their God. And God said to Abraham, As for you, you shall keep my covenant, you and your offspring after you throughout their generations. This is my covenant, which you shall keep between me and you and your offspring after you. Every male among you shall be circumcised. You shall be circumcised in the flesh of your foreskins, and it shall be a sign of the covenant between me and you. He who is eight days old among you shall be circumcised. Every male through your generations, whether born in your house or bought with your money for any foreigner who is not of your offspring, both he who is born in your house and he who is bought with your money shall surely be circumcised. So shall my covenant be in your flesh an everlasting covenant. Any uncircumcised male who is not circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin shall be cut off from his people. He has broken my covenant. Isaac's, Isaac's birth promise. And God said to Abraham, As for Sari, your wife, you shall not call her call her name Sari, but Sarah shall be her name. I will bless her, and moreover I will give you a son by her. I will bless her, and she shall become nations. Kings of peoples shall come from her. Then Abraham fell on his face, and laughed and said to himself, Shall a child be born to a man who is a hundred years old? Shall Sarah, who is ninety years old, bear a child? And Abraham said to God, Oh, that Ishmael might live before you. God said, No, 
But Sarah, your wife, shall bear you a son, and you shall call his name Isaac. I will establish my covenant with him as an everlasting covenant, everlasting covenant for his offspring after him. As for Ishmael, Mel, Mal, I have heard you. Behold, I have blessed him and will make him fruitful and multiply him greatly. He shall father twelve princes, and I will make him into a great nation. But I will establish my covenant with Isaac, whom Sarah shall bear to you at this time next year. When he had finished talking with him, God went up from Abraham. Then Abraham took Is Ishmael, his son, and all those born in his house, or bought with his money every male among the men of Abraham's house. And he circumcised the flesh of their foreskins that very day, as God had said to him. Abraham was ninety years old when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. And Ishmael, his son, was thirteen years old when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. That very day, Abraham and his son Ishmael were circumcised. And all the men of his house, those born in, his ho in the house, and those bought with money from a foreigner, were circumcised with him. And that brings us to Genesis chapter 18, which continues the Isaac's birth promise. So, let's stop there for now. And we will catch up with you guys for another chapter of Genesis because we're working our way through the book, through the Bible, through all the books in the Bible. And you know what? It, it's going to take us a minute, but it's going to be so worth it. And you, when we get to the end, we might just read it again. And I hope that maybe this helps you get in the Word more. Hopefully this inspires you to just get your Bible out and read. And read ahead of me. Read faster than me read better than me do it i know you can't we we really appreciate you guys god loves you jesus loves you the holy spirit is within you we welcomed him into our hearts today god jesus and the holy spirit it was amazing thank you guys so much smash that thumbs up don't forget to click the subscribe button head over to the arctic vet family channel and subscribe there as well and share out some of our videos that helps us a ton this video is not monetized, but our other videos on this channel are monetized and nothing on the family channel is yet. We're trying to get there, so we will, with God's will, we'll get there. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. I love you. Have a great evening, and we'll catch you in the next one. God bless. Don't ever give up, God is here with you Yeah, You are a child, nothing but love is true Just got it fixed in view, keep your eyes on the prize That's life everlasting, only through Jesus Christ